Colorado goes on the road to Arrowhead Stadium and loses to Kansas. Devin Neal scores four times in this game for the Jayhawks, 37-21. Now, Colorado's not out of it completely, still in the mix to make the Big 12 title game, but this certainly dampens their chances at making the college football playoff Man, they had an opportunity. Coach Prime at the podium in Kansas City. Wonderful coach who uh, is one of my favorites in the Big 12. I feel as though we have a tremendous relationship. He's checked on me when, uh, when nobody was. We exchanged pleasantries before the game, and I, I told him that his team is resilient there, the reflection of, of who he is. They, they fight to the end. They're very physical. They're tough, they're tenacious, they ran the heck out of the football, which we couldn't stop, period, today. Um, we start smelling ourselves a little bit. That's what I just told our team. We got intoxicated with the success. We got intoxicated with the multitude of articles and the assumption that we're this and the assumption that we're that, and we did not play CU football. Therefore, we got our butts kicked. It is what it is. Let's go. Thank you. Go ahead. Hey, Coach. How you doing? Good. Uh, Nick Edwards, CU Sports Report. You mentioned the, the deficiency of them stopping the run tonight. Right. What was kind of the mood on the sideline of trying to get it right but not quite? The move was, the move was let's stop the run. We got to do something. We got to stop. They didn't punt one time. I think uh, <laughs> during their 300, or 331 yards, uh, rushing it was, was, was alarming. You can't win when a team is rushed for 331 yards on you. That's not indicative the indicative of who we've been and who we are. That is certainly not who we are, and we could not stop the bleeding. We tried consistently, but we could not stop the bleeding. That's hats off to them. They were physical. They out-physicaled us. They outplayed us. They wanted it a lot more than we did. Adam, go ahead. Missed tackles. How much did that? Surprise you? That obviously wasn't something that. No, that's that's not nothing that we we do. That's not our identity. We usually get to the ball at an alarming rate, and we're very physical when we get there. The first screen pass uh, that went for a touchdown, I believe, it was like 51 yards. I was like, oh lord, here we go, here we go with the dumb stuff. Um, that's not who we are. When that happens, you know, we own some dumb stuff today, and uh, we got to do better. We got to do better. They got to do a better job as coaches. We got to do a better job as players. We just got to do a better job, period. Dennis, go ahead. Yeah, all your goals are still in front of you. It's yes, sir. It's going to be a little harder now. Yes, sir. When do you relay that to the team? I already did. Already did. Already did. Trust me. We, we just did. Um, when you're in control of your own destiny, um, it's a phenomenal thing. I don't just think about football. I think about life. So the message to these young men is if, if God was to, were to grant you every darn thing you needed in life, all the ability, the thought process, the connections, um, the, the visuals, and you don't do nothing with it, that's on you. And that's what we are. We control our own destiny, and we fumbled it. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Brian Howell. Yes, sir. You guys have been a more physical team for certain Yeah. Days. Yeah. Today, obviously, they were. Uh, what did you feel like? What was the difference there? Why were they more physical than you? Yeah, they, they just, uh, they wanted it more. We were smelling ourselves. They wanted it more. And that's on me. I can't let a, a, a team that I, I coach start feeling themselves. Can't do that. Matt, go ahead. So it starts another kind of issue for the offense. Yeah. Today. Uh, I mean, I figured if you would have had an answer, you probably would have fixed it at this point. Is, is it frustrating for you? Well, uh, 21 points in uh, 19 minutes of possession. I'm pretty good with that. I think I, I'll, I'll take that. We got to do better defensively. That that was not the offense today. I understand what you're saying, but we got to do better defensively. We didn't. They didn't punt one time. No. Mike, good. Uh, Sedora got hit really low in the first half. Yeah. He's good. I mean, he's Sedora been hit his whole life, man. <laughs> I mean, he, this, this kid is tough. He, he's one of the toughest young football players that I've ever seen. Ever seen. Hey, Coach. Jalen Weiss. Um, for the last two weeks, Draylon Miller has done a really good job. It, yes, sir. Filling that empty spot of Jimmy Gordon Jr. What mm -hmm. do you say about his performance today? He, he's, he's phenomenal. I mean, especially uh, a freshman. Uh, the game is this, these magnitudes, and, and he's showing up and showing out. 
Uh, the moment is not too big for him. He plays hard. He practices hard. He's smart. Um, don't make many uh, mental errors. I, I love the kid, man. I mean, that uh, we want to recruit more of those type of young men. Eric, go ahead. When a team doesn't perform to what's indicative of who's big, man, mm -hmm. how do you handle that moving forward? Um, that practice, that's a, a tremendous thought process, which I will have from, from right now all the way until we land and probably um, all day tomorrow because it's hard for me to flush things. I carry them because I'm a perfectionist. I try to see what's the problem and then administer to the problem and hopefully provoke change within the problem. Um, that's not who we are. Truly not who we are, especially defensively. Especially defensively. Yes, sir. Coach, you've done the team's a remarkable job of making second half adjustments mm -hmm. defensively. Was it just Neil being that good or the adjustments didn't take? No, no, no. Um, Rob called a good game, man. We gotta do what we gotta do what he he called. You know, we, we got to do what he called. He called a pretty good game. I mean, I'm, I'm hearing this stuff, and I'm seeing what's supposed to transpire, and it never did. They didn't punt, man. Like, like he called a pretty good game. Mark, go ahead. You mentioned uh, gotten intoxicated with yourself or with yeah. yourself. It's easy for all of us in retrospect. I didn't say me. No, you no, you kind of said like, the way you said it. It sounded different, like yourself. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's easy in retrospect. Yes, sir. You see it yes, sir. Coming. Yes, sir. Well, we 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 tried to handle it in the meetings. We 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 handle it tremendously. You know, some folks you can't you can't put behind microphones and you can't give them podcasts. You can't do that because they get intoxicated with the success and you know who that is. So you try your best to eliminate that, but they can't stop reading the stuff about who we are. That that's, that's a little tough. So you try to uh, humble everything around you and including yourself. You try your best to do such because you know, you know what you have in the locker room. I know my kids, man. I know all of them. And I asked you a week or so ago yes, sir. how hard it is to handle success. Well, I mean, you talking about the kids? You talking about the kids? Yeah, that, that's tough. All of them are different, man. Some are different. Like, Travis handles it pretty darn well. You know, uh, the, uh, LeJonte, Will, some of the other guys do. Some guys don't. I um, mean, some of the guys that really never gotten it, but now they're getting it, that, that's, that's intoxicating to them. Attention is intoxicating to some people. Brian. We gotta, we gotta fix that. That's on me. I gotta fix that. Right. Coach, the last time he has looked like this was probably the first half in Nebraska. Right. Probably the only other time we've this. Right. He responded really well from that. And does that give you confidence as a coach knowing that these guys can respond? To something like I, that? I never give up, Brian. I, I never do. Until that last second ticked off the clock, or when I knew they were going into the kneel, you know, kneeling. Um, that's when I knew it was over. But I never give up on these young men because I know we have the propensity to come back, um, given the time frame. <laughs> on uh, the score clock. But it's that's just wasn't us today, man. Yeah, make no bones about it. They forced us into some situations that were tremendous. They did a great job. They had some trickery involved in certain th things, and the timing of them were impeccable. We just didn't do our job. So we didn't do it. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask it correctly, but I meant like after this week. Yeah, you guys bounced back so well. Right? Well, I pray so. I, I'm always confident, so I, I, I'm never unconfident. Um, I know what we have in that locker room. I trust those young men to uh, do what they need to do to recover. And to uh, it's a terrible feeling. You got to understand. I just saw their faces. It's a terrible feeling. It's a terrible sentiment. It's a terrible mood. They're not happy with themselves. Now they got to go read about it and <laughs> hear about it and, and think about it. Yeah, but sometimes it's, it's the best thing um, to happen to people. Like after the Nebraska thing, I think that was a blessing in disguise to us. Truly. Coach, you guys are at uh, about 25% on third down the last two games, even with the two wins. Yeah. Uh, what's been done going forward to kind of adjust to uh, keep the punts off the field? Uh, if I knew we would have done it today, <laughs> trust me, that's on me. We'll get it together. We'll look better next week, I promise you. Okay. Much better. Coach, I think they had almost 200 yards on first down plays today. I mean, just how difficult is that for defense when they're consistently getting three, four, five yards on a clip and just putting you guys in that third and manageable? Well, that's, that's tough on the coordinator. Um, it's not like we didn't know what they were going to do. I mean, every uh, play that was called, I mean, you could hear it in the headset. You know what was coming. We just got to 
take care of it. We just got to do a better job in preventing preventing it, and we did not do that today. A couple more try. Go ahead, Coach. Got to stop smelling yourself, right? Get to get a new uh, cologne, I guess, a no tackle cologne. Um, yeah, you, you, look, you feel pretty good. You've won four in a row, and, and Colorado looks like, you know, they're, they're going to be primed for the Big 12 title game. Well, it, the, the path is not easy at all now. Colorado needs to beat Oklahoma State next week and have one of the following happen. A Houston win at BYU or both Arizona and Kansas State to win, and then they reach the Big 12 title game. So they need some help here. Will they get it? A Houston win at BYU? Maybe. BYU's lost two in a row, uh, including to Kansas last week, and Kansas this week takes down Colorado.